G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing with my head and hand down in a big hole. Well today in this episode, I'm gonna show you a few techniques and a few tips that I've got of how to catch big mud crab. The sun's setting at the moment, as you can see over there. I've been out here literally all day trying to catch a mud crab. I did get one, good one earlier. So I'm just gonna explain a few techniques to you that I've used over the years since I was a grommet to catch mud crab. One being scooping, it's quite easy. The idea is to just go up to mostly swimmers or big muddies and put your, put your net underneath it and quickly scoop up because as soon as they touch that net, they will try and swim away or get away, or do whatever they can to, to get out of it. Personally, the best time I've found to go and scoop and look for crabs is incoming or outgoing tides. Normally at night time, the crabs sort of look for a free ride in and out of the system to feed, breed, whatever they do, and you can normally scoop a few up. Oh, there she comes. Hey, baby. Oh. We don't want to hit you. There you go. Off she goes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Up out of safety. Got him. Oh, no. Actually, almost got me a couple times then. But, uh... Gotcha. Look at that. Female. So you can tell this one's a female because the rounded shape of it. The males have that more triangular thing. Also another factor is these tiny little baby nippers. Big bucks. They have those huge, big nippers. So um, we're gonna let this fella go. There you go. Off she goes, look. Try it up, don't you? Earlier on this morning, the first technique I tried to use was scooping. I didn't have any luck, but I caught this sick cod with my bare hands. Check it out. So I've stumbled across this structure in the, literally the middle of nowhere, the tide's all the way out, and I'm pretty sure there's a fish trapped in there. So I'm gonna get my hands in there and see if I can bring it out and show you guys. Spiked me, fair enough. Oh. Oh. Feels like a trout. Here. What a beautiful fish. Just got his own little cave here. I'm gonna put him back in there. <laughs> that was so sick. How good was that? Wow. Who would have thought there's a pod in there? Like in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, there's a big cod sitting in there. That's his home. Please, if everyone else knows where this, this is, just leave him there. Do not come and take him. I got so sidetracked from the real quest of teaching you guys how to catch a mud crab. So another method of catching mud crabs is using your hands. So along these mangroves here, you can look for like logs, empty logs, overturned logs, mud crab holes. Um, another really good thing is like barnacle banks anywhere where a crab can go and hide make a home watch out for the nippers obviously they're the things that can get you but if you isolate the nippers you want to work your way around the back of the crab you've got the two back swimmers if you squeeze in tight and hold it the crab is pretty much isolated it can't reach back and grab you with those claws nippers out lift him out a bit and secure those back ones really quick when you let those nippers go just boom on the back what this fella's doing He's digging himself down. He's trying to trying to hide from us. It's so awesome to see. Get an ambush position. Look at that. That's so wicked. Look at those big things. Imagine stepping on them and them coming out and grabbing you. That is that cool. Wow. Ho oh, ho ho. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's almost gone! A mud crab den. Oh. That's definitely a crab home. So, it is a bit of luck when you're finding crabs. You can go to the right places and sometimes you can just get none. Well, where I'm from anyway. 
Hello. So we're in a place like this where it's really hard to see any any signs of mud crab. The best thing to look for is see this this murky muddy water. That's the best sign that there is a hole around. So if you keep your eyes, try and try and see that, and you should be able to find a hole. Which is right amongst the roots. This is the best spot probably to find a crab. No crabs, unfortunately, with this uh, technique today. Got the crab hook, which is just an old spear that my brother made up for me. I tell you what, you probably don't want to get bitten by that thing. But it's a beautiful crab. Look at the colour in it. Wow. Hey, mate. Look at the size of that claw. Man, they are so cool. There you go, buddy. Thanks for that. I ducked back in because it was getting way too windy towards the mangroves. And I tried to show you guys how to use a hook. And what you want to do is you want to find big holes like this. And normally they go so far back. But you want to get it in there. You can either try and hook the crab and drag it out, which doesn't normally happen because they fired it. But it's a good indicator to know that the crab's in there. Definitely one in there. All right, here he comes. Ah, got him. Sorry I ripped a nipper off, mate. Unfortunately, I ripped his nipper off, but he almost he almost nailed me with this. I felt him like wrap around like there. You see this little nipper here? That's what happens when they lose their nipper. They slowly regenerate a new one. So it, it can be done. Yoink it out, don't give it a second, because if he wraps his, fi wraps his nipper around your finger or your hand, he will crush it. Get him in the bag. Nah, nothing in this one, I don't think. Well, I'm buggered, eh? Hey? It's so hot at the moment. Another method, which is probably my favourite, is just using your bare hands. You can either get in a hole, grab the crab quickly, feel around in there. Episode 1, the first Catch and Cook episode we ever did, we got a big mud crab on the oyster stack. Check out the footage. Look, two pointed out. See underneath. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> we got a big one, Strider found it, there's a sea snake between my legs, that's big muddy, Strider actually found it underneath an oyster stack and we grabbed it, so last option, oh jeez, the last option that we sort of use and I'm not really a huge fan of it is um, crab pots or crab nets, so what you want to do is you just want to get the smelliest, rankest bit of bait, I use cable ties to put on, you can use anything you really want to skewer it. Find a good spot, chuck it out, wait, depending on your bait, half an hour, and hopefully a mud crab will crawl in there and you can wind it in. There's no one home in this hole here, so we're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna go check that pot that I threw in earlier on today. What happens, mostly at night, the big crabs come out of their hole and they'll march and they'll go look to breed, to feed, to do whatever, and then they'll come back and, and spend most of the day in here. So I might have timed it with this one, because this is a really good hole. At the left, we'll show you a bit about what you want to look for in a mud crab hole. One good indicator is obviously the murky water. Another thing is when you actually get your hand in there, you can feel that the crab crab has actually like groomed the whole cave, and he's been in there working away. Another one is that small crab that was at the front of this hole is like a, a jenny or like a baby crab or a female crab, and that's probably the big mud bitch. Ah, oh, all right. Well. <laughs> Oh, ah. Man, it's been a big day. It's getting late. I'm actually meant to be at my brother's house right now. He's throwing a birthday party for me. I'm gonna get a wriggle on, check this pot, and I'm gonna get out of here because I'm still an hour from town. There's no reception out here. I don't even know if really anyone knows where I am. Fella. I just literally found him in the middle of nowhere. He must have been come up, up, and he's straight up. Don't you go anywhere near it. He must have come up, and he's look, see, 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 look, look, look. That's what they do. They go in all these little holes, and they'll come out somewhere, and they're looking for things to eat. Straight up, out, get out, out. 
So he's gone in here. I've got to watch out. I've got to watch out because he might stick his head out on any one of these other holes, hey. I love this shit. So good. First hole in my YBS merch ever. If you want to get some of this stuff, youngbloods.co. Go online, check it out. Cheers, guys. All right. We're just trying to just run in to check this pot. Hopefully we got something in there. Gritty! Come on in! Woo! 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 Better quickly get back on the road and head back into town. I'll see you there. Yeah, I'm happy to be a good There <laughs> One thing I'd like to add, and it's probably the most important thing, is that these guys should be really cautious of how many crabs you take. Only take what you need. Um, I've noticed since I was a grommet to now the decline of how many mud crabs there are. Like when I was a grommet, you used to be able to walk around and nearly every hole was full of mud crab. These days, I always hear of people, oh, I went out and grabbed eight mud crabs. On you, mate. Are you kidding me? What are you going to do with eight mud crabs? Like one per person is probably a great amount to go and grab. Like one crab will literally feed you or another person no worries 